What is up, guys? RSC6414 here, back with another video. This time I'm reviewing WWE Superstars. Uh, overall, this show was pretty good. I uh, wouldn't say it was great, though. Um, we had two matches that were pretty predictable going in, so it wasn't that good. So I'd say it was sort of a subpar Superstars, which is generally what it is. I mean, it's generally two very predictable matches. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me two predictable matches, and uh, you already know who's really going to win, just from making logical sense, but the first match we had was R-Truth versus Drew McIntyre, two members, Mahal and Slater, did not come out to him with the ring, I mean, come out with him to the ring, uh, this match, Truth, I mean, they both got their fair share of offense in, uh, Truth probably got a little more, Truth hits a leg drop in the middle of the match for a near fall, then he, uh, It's a uh, sit-out slam for a near fall on Drew McIntyre. At that point, uh, you were wondering, because McIntyre was putting on a good fight, maybe you thought maybe 3 and B would come out and interfere or something. They never came. And then uh, McIntyre is going for a move. R-Truth counters and hits the lie detector, a.k.a. the jumping STO. Uh, this match was okay. Truth picks up the, w the win here with the lie detector. Uh, one, two, three. Um, good for Truth, I guess, winning. Uh, he definitely deserves a push. I'm sort of frustrated. Truth probably my second favorite WWE wrestler uh, behind JTG. But this was sort of uh, whatever. I mean, he's sort of getting demoted to main event and superstars now, which is never really a good sign. Um, so interested to see what they're going to do with him. Hopefully they'll push him, but, you know, what are you going to do? Next thing we have, a bunch of, bunch of recaps from Raw, as usual, with Daniel Bryan and uh, facing John Cena. They recap the Cena Ryback tables match on Raw. Nothing special. Then uh, we have Sin Cara versus Kurt Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins has come back to WWE TV. I think the last time he was on here was against Biggie Langston on main event, if I'm not mistaken. It was like in July, like 5th, maybe. I'm a huge Hawkins fan as well. Um, got his t-shirt over there. Uh, unofficial t-shirt, I should say. But, you know, I'm a big fan of Hawkins. I really hope he gets pushed some. He definitely deserves a push. Really talented. But enough of me rambling on about that. Goes on against Sin Cara again. You know who's going to win going in. Um, Sin Cara does a high spot over the ropes. Takes out Kurt Hawkins, who's standing on the outside of the ring. Then uh, he seen cars on the ring apron on the outside of the ring going for another move. Uh, Kurt Hawkins counters, hits Kurt Sinkara. Sinkara falls, takes a pretty hard fall, bangs his head on the ring apron. But uh, later on, you have Sinkara going for a crossbody. That's a near fall. And then you have Sinkara who goes with his second, uh, his new finisher for the second time in a row, hits the Hurricane Rana. Uh, What is it? A hurricane Rana driver. Sorry. Uh, Sinkar hits the Hurricane Rana driver on Kurt Hawkins for the 1 2 3. Sinkar picks up the win here. No surprise, but uh, okay match. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my review. Overall grade of this show, I give is a 4 and a half, is a four out of 10. I uh, hope you enjoyed my review. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.